why is she so disgusted by kissing her own boyfriend? Then again, I probably know the answer to that question. It was so f***ing hard to get that out of my head. I have a lot of questions about this relationship. Today we're talking about our favorite YouTube couple, Morgs and Kara. And his mom, because you can't go right without her. Sometimes I get confused by which one is the girlfriend. We're gonna spy on Morgan and Kira for 24 hours! So in this video, I'm going to explain my problems with this weird couple. And even though this thumbnail should explain it all... Okay, we need to get this picture right now, guys. No more messing around! But everybody watching this right now better promise me that we never speak of this moment ever again. I'm still going to get into it. Just by looking at these thumbnails, you can already smell the extravaganza. So one of my biggest problems with this couple is the fact that their content is so sexualized. Are you guys sure it's a good idea? Kids get caught doing this. Mom freaks out. So not only he's referring to himself as a kid, what I get from this thumbnail is that I did anal guys, but my mom caught me doing this. Holy crap, mom is gonna be mad about that. It's Kara in your bed. There's nothing wrong with women being on men's beds. Or what about the time he spent the night in his girlfriend's house? She had no idea, by the way. She had no idea to the point that she was <laughs> his best friend in front of him. Interesting. Yeah, like, you're way more Or what about this completely innocent video that ended up being lick, kiss, date and strip? Or what about this video called I spend the night in my own house, fucking savage. Spending a night in your own house, fucking rebel. My question is, what are you trying to say with this right here? What is the message? So just by looking at their thumbnails, you can already see that the content is pretty hardcore. You kinda get confused though when you see videos like this. This is like the most fun I've ever had in my entire life, bro. Like my entire life. So my question is, what kind of viewers are you trying to attract? Are you making videos for kids? Are you making videos for Uncle Jerry who's into different kind of videos? He's into different kind of women. Uncle Jerry is a bad, bad human being. And yes, I know I'm exaggerating a little bit, but oh my god. <sighs> Another issue with all of these thumbnails right here is that none of this actually happened. And even if it did, it didn't happen the same way that it shows in the thumbnail. These thumbnails are staged. I've never seen my parents so mad, but not to the point that they wouldn't make a fake thumbnail with me, so... I, I guess I'm okay. And what's up with UK YouTubers and underage sexualized content in the first place? There's this guy called Touch the Light. By the way, don't touch the light because this guy made videos like Strip Fortnite with my little sister. I'm not gonna look, but it's for my viewers. Like, I, like everyone really wanted this video, so hopefully you guys enjoy. So the other day I saw a tweet from work saying that I just got married and I already knew that it's fake, but he basically said that it's legit. And by the way, didn't he get married before? Will you marry me? <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! This is the happiest moment of my life! Oh my god! Oh, but it was a different girl. So at the age of uh, 21, Morgz is going to be a divorced dad with five kids. That's just my, that's just my prediction. So the video was called, my girlfriend said yes to everything I said for 24 hours. Anal? <laughs> Too much? Okay. My girlfriend has to say yes to everything I say for 24 hours. Kira, do you want to dye your hair pink? Kira, can you please push me around in the trolley? Do you want to pay for the meal? Hey Kira, is there room for one more? Kira, will you marry me? Yo guys, it's more! So it's obviously fake, you get the point. She's supposed to say yes to everything that he suggests. For the most part, it's a 22 minute pointless video. I would not recommend watching it. She has absolutely no idea about what I am about to do. I have the wedding ring here guys, as you can tell. Fun fact, I didn't even buy this. This is her diamond ring. I'm proposing to her with her own ring and she has to say yes. Guys, this moment is gonna go down in history as the 
worst YouTube proposal of all time. Let's do this. It's just painful to watch. And I love the fact that his little fans think that it's actually real. You're a bad boyfriend. That's not how date works. It has to be the girl likes you. Morgs poop. <laughs> I am dying. You're so sad to you are girlfriend wife. I mean, this guy has a point. Kira, where do I even begin? Let me just start by saying you are the most beautiful person I've ever seen in my entire life. I love you so okay. much from the bottom of my- I love the- I just love that they switched the camera and now they did it again. I, I, I absolutely love this. I love this so much. Four million views, people. This. Your hands are cold. Nope. Kira. So that's the joke of the video. She had to say yes. So at the end of the day, this person had a point. You are so sad to you, our girlfriend wife. I mean, and look, I'm not hating on Morgs. I feel like we could be friends. I just don't like his content. Maybe, maybe we could even have a tea party together. Me, girlfriend, and our moms. We could all discuss parenting and I don't know, just 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 a suggestion for Morgs, let him know on Twitter. And many of you may say that I'm just jealous that he's getting a lot of views or I'm jealous because his stepdad looks like a angel version of Greg Paul, which is not true by the way. I'm not jealous at all. I get to live with a guy who looks like Greg Paul, get the fuck out of you. Come okay, on, so they're getting Come married on. in their own house. Come on, Kara. Come on, a little bit more. This way, a little bit. You're such a pussy, Morgs. We got the mom. We got the mom as the person who's going to marry Morgs and Kara. By looking at this, it feels like all of them are in a relationship. Good afternoon, everybody. And today, we're here to celebrate the wedding of two beautiful young ladies, Morgan and Kira. This is where I learned comedy people. Two beautiful ladies, Morgs and Kara. <laughs> Two beautiful young ladies! Morgz is actually not a lady, he's a boy, without bald, but, but still it counts. Welcome everybody! Yay! Woo, 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 woo. Why is Logan Paul's dad in this video? I probably missed something in this 22 minutes video, I don't know, just don't ask. Woo, 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 woo. Big fan, by the way, call me. Now, using the power invested in me uh as a vicar, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Horrible. Horrible video. So my biggest problem with these type of videos is the fact that they realize that vlogs are not performing as well on YouTube anymore. So right now they created this genre where you have challenges but a vlog in a video at the same time. But the vlog is not real. You know what kind of videos get a lot of views? Proposal videos. But I don't want to propose so I might as well just fake it. And the issue is no matter if he's lying or not, the video is going to perform just as well. However, if you clickbait Greg Paul on the thumbnail... And look, I don't care, they have every right to make these kind of videos. My main focus of the video is to make fun of their cringe and make you guys laugh. But in my opinion, it just kind of ruins the whole point of your vlog. Instead of showcasing your life to your fans, you're just making up fake stories for YouTube clicks. The marriage didn't last long. So since this is acceptable right now on YouTube to just basically Lying the thumbnail, lying the title. I might as well do that myself. I died, lol. While in the actual video, I didn't die. I just got a bruise on my dick trying to shag an orange. Then again, that already happened. This is the end. Why quitting YouTube? This isn't clickbait. Every single one of you, we're gonna hold a huge giveaway right now. I just love YouTube in 2018. Anyways guys, thank you for watching this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I know I'm a bit exaggerating, that's the whole point of the video, to make you guys laugh. But it's still kinda effed up. If you wanna support the channel, Patreon, the link is in the description, Twitter, Instagram, uh, make sure to follow me. And as always, greatness, peace, love, and hugs.